Alright guys, uh, part two. So... Libby telling me what happened. Seems like there were two men watching. Or two men waiting. Could have been involved with law enforcement detectives. Looks like they were drugged. This could have something to do with the sacrifice. Or maybe they wanted Abby, but Libby could have been part of the sacrifice. Um, they evoke a magical and supernatural power that can't be controlled, or magic for destructive means. But that's in reverse still. So, uh, this talks about focusing on how one looks. So I don't know if somebody was trying to be cautious of how if something turned out image-wise, they would look. Uh, the moon, the keeper of the secrets, the five of cups. I don't know if Libby felt guilty. Or if this king of wands felt guilty. Now, when Abby tells the story, from Abby's perspective, I've got the Five of Pentacles. Um, having the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. In this moment, they could have been at odds, meaning Abby and Libby, or whoever the perpetrators were. Uh, but I don't love that card. So she's saying she was left out. I want to get all the meanings for it. Uh, setback, rocky times, financial loss. Conquest of fortune by reason, lack, and hardship. Um, the strength with the vulture and the tree, and then some lady trying to tame some man's primal instincts or inner beast. Four of Pentacles, which makes me think somehow this was a purchase. So she went from the Five of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Now these two cards here. She's got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. It doesn't get, I mean, besides for Death and the Devil, And again, this is my quick, developing, rapid argument with somebody about money. And it usually happens in a home. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really know what yet to make of this. What I am going to do is go over the three cards.
that came out. Actually, I'll read these here. Libby, what can you tell me about this cop? What should we know involving what happened to you and Abby about that card? Wow. In this spread alone, she's got two kings, which speaks of minor council, <clears throat> providing um, some type of law representation for minor children. She's got the six of pentacles, accept and help, philanthropy, charity <clears throat> excuse me she's got the three of cups and invitation and then she's got the five of swords which to me uh can also play into death and uh, being trapped in a lose-lose situation Somebody being overly competitive, mind games, deception. It's kind of like the Ten of Swords, but she's just... Alright, so this guy. One of them could have passed <clears throat> um, I don't want to say before they got help but unexpectedly all right what do I need to know about this person how is she involved I don't, this is why I don't really do Abby and Libby. Hold on one second, guys. It's kind of hard because uh, I see things that um, I've seen kind of the same story, the same players. I don't want to accuse anybody of anything. Okay. I've got the Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and this lady is pregnant, I've got the Priest, This is the Ten of Cups. Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Those who follow a deity or system of values. Seeking out a higher purpose. I've got, so the Ten of Cups. And the Nine, uh, nine of Cups. Riches. Wealth by inheritance or trade. 
and a voyage. And then the Queen of Wands, the other woman. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. But to have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Wands, this person, uh, I don't know if they got what they wanted or if they got more than they bargained for or they thought they wanted something and when they got it, realized they didn't want it. All right, let me find out about this person. Libby and Abby, tell me about this person. What do I need to know? What does he have to do with this? So they were both drugged. I don't know if they were, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if they knew they were being drugged, but I definitely feel they were both drugged. Now this person, got the Ace of Wands, power, new energy. Um, I'm going to read them all. <clears throat> Productivity and enthusiasm. I've got the miss. Queen of Wands again. Unexpected, mysterious outcomes that try the spirit. I've got the Nine of Wands. Talks about a park. Park foretells a new love when very near, if distant false friends. And then I've got the Knight of Pentacles, and that is not a, it's a very, <clears throat> ambiguous card in this situation. I don't know if it's coming out for you guys, but. Queen of Wands, Temperance, Queen of Wands twice, Temperance twice. Let me try to do it this way. <clears throat> Libby and Abby, can you tell me who actually murdered you? The both of you. Pentacles. 
got the Magician, the Seven of Swords, it looks twice. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. <coughs> Wait a minute. No, I do. Have, I have the Seven of Swords twice. I'm going to read the Seven of Swords in a minute. So I have the Magician. Seven of Swords twice. This one and this card. Xenophobia. Xenophobia and bigotry. Intolerance or having ignorance about what's really going on with someone hated. Uh, 